Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Vita Luca, and today I want to give you some tips to help you with Harvest Moon One World, just to make it a little bit easier, and uh, things that I wish I knew when I was playing the game and didn't have to figure out on my own. So some of those things are food is extremely valuable in this game. I'm guessing, you know, they come from a barren land, they don't have many things. Vegetables? Yeah, that doesn't matter. But actual prepared food? Yeah, that's that's where all the money's at. So you should learn the butter, cheese, and fried egg recipe as soon as possible. You can buy butter and fried cheese from uh, Halo Halo. Not at the general store, but at the restaurant that's there. Uh, from talking to the guy behind the counter, um, you can just buy them straight from him. Um, another good way to make money is also um, if you have lots of compost from your animals, turn that into fertilizer and sell it. You can only have 99 fertilizers on you at a time. And if you have just a ton of compost, one piece of compost makes 10 fertilizers. So even though fertilizer only sells for like 30 Gs, when you sell 99, that's like 2300, 2300 G right there. So yeah sell the fertilizer because it helps because when you sell compost it's a it's 1g like it's nothing so sell the fertilizer make your life easier um also another tip is acorns are completely useless except for in the machine in order to pack up your house and move it so keep acorns for that purpose of moving your house because the minute you put your house down, you will go back to zero and it's not worth it to put in any fruits or vegetables because none of them do anything for the machine. But acorns, all you need is three and it's full and they're useless otherwise. So just use the acorns, fill the machine and be able to put your house wherever you want and easily move it if you made the mistake. Because um, I've done that a lot, I accidentally packed it up and I didn't want to leave yet. And then I had to put it back down and restart. So yeah. Save the acorns in your fridge in case you make that mistake or in case you want to leave. Yeah, and then some of the things that you need for the storyline, um, you actually don't need a lot of money to beat the storyline, thank goodness. All you really need to spend money on is the black sheep because you will need it for, uh, yeah, their, their storyline. I'm not even going to try to say the name. And um, you, you also need 10 milk. So if you want, you could buy a normal cow for that or... You could just complete Brayden's request and he will give you 10 milk and you put it in your fridge and you wait because you will need it for the last request of this. For the oil lamp, you don't have to do anything other than talk to friends, but you will need the milk as an offering. So it's easier if you just take it from Brayden and not have to get it out of a cow yourself because that just takes forever. Because whenever you buy animals in this game, they are babies except for camels and horses, which if you want something that will help you get around faster, I recommend purchasing a camel or a horse. I personally went for a camel because these animals in this game is super cool. Like, so cool. I have two rabbits and a corgi, as well as all the animals. Oh, and pro tip, your animals die. That's something that I keep forgetting to mention in any of my videos, but your animals do randomly die. Not because they're sick, not because of anything, they will just die. So I'm at year three, I've had all my regular chickens die. And I had my black sheep die that I bought in the first year so that I could uh, beat this place. It died by like the spring of the second year or the third year, sorry, the spring of the third year. But all my chickens just went in a random order. So, but I bought my camel first, which is really weird, but my camel's still alive and the rest aren't. I don't know why. Um, and then all my other animals have been fine so far. So I don't know. I think they all just have their own timelines. But that's a tip. Like, they will just randomly go. So, like, don't spend too much money. But I also wouldn't risk making one pregnant because that's going to be a long time. Like, everything is a long time for them to grow up, for the eggs to hatch, everything. So, I would just buy it and you'll get, like, a year or two out of it. So, it's fine. Oh, yeah. Also, a really good pro tip is if you, re if you complete requests where they provide you food, you'll find this a lot in and areas. So definitely do those requests because, and then just sell the food. You don't ever need to eat this food, like ever. So just sell it, just sell it. And also another good recipe that you should also learn is coconut milk and coffee. 
because you can find tons of coconut trees in Hala Hala that'll help you walk around in Pastilla, as well as making hot coffee will help you in when you first start off because you won't have a jacket or anything that will keep you warm there, as well as the coat that will help you in the, the hot place as well. That comes after you beat the storyline. So you will always be needing to have something cool to drink in order to go to Pastilla until you beat the game. And you give um, this guy uh, 10, reg 10 cashmere wool from the cashmere goat, which you also have to complete all of Jamil's requests. So it takes a while to be able to just survive in Pastilla without needing to drink something. So learn coconut milk. You can also um, learn coffee because then you'll also get iced coffee, so that will help as well. And you can easily find the trees around there. You can find everything in Hala Hala. Oh, yes. And some of the things that you need to hoard is um, watermelon. Yeah. Also, plant all your watermelon in Carlison. I think it's it's this one. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. But plant them all there because everywhere else they turn to mellow yellows and they'll drive you insane while you're just trying to get some watermelon to complete Pastilla. So, yeah, plant them all over there. Leave them there. They should be fine. Don't put them near each other, though, in case they mutate. And then also another thing you really need to keep is wheat. You will need eight wheat in order to beat... Mm -hmm. You'll need eight red roses, six hibiscus, and four chamomile for pastilla. So be sure you keep those. I am pretty sure that they give you hibiscus and chamomile, the exact amount that you need around that pond area where Malika lives. Do not sell those. I sold them. I made that mistake. I spent my time trying to get all that stuff back. And if you need chamomile seeds, because you do make the mistake, they're behind Saeed's house. If you need red roses, you can find two near uh, Malika's tent, as well as there's one that's kind of in between uh, Pastilla and the northeast farm, like the big one. You'll find a seed around there too. So yeah, try not to make that mistake because it's annoying to fix it. And hibiscus, you can find one by the lighthouse in Halo Halo, and there's another one by the farm that's right off of Halo Halo as well. So pro tips. And um, another pro tip is uh, you'll need black sheep wool. So like before I said, you'll need the black sheep. You can get that from Pastilla. You can get it before you even beat the game though. You can buy it right from Jamil's mom right at the get-go. Buy that sheep. You'll need like eight or 10 of its wool in order to beat. So do that. Cause really like theirs is super easy. It's just the sheep can take a while if you didn't know about it. So now that you know about it, yeah, I just saw that. Now that you know about it, you can better prepare and get stuff done sooner. And then, yeah. Cause Hollow Hollow and Carlison are very, very, very easy to beat. It's the other three that can take a long time if you do things incorrectly. So now that I'm helping you, Hopefully, you don't make that same mistake. Um, and then, yeah, after after you beat the game, it's really nice, and you can just travel everywhere really easily. And, like, the, the void gets filled in, and it actually becomes nicer. It's not better, but, like, it it's not best, but it becomes nicer. So that is, like, really nice. And then you can focus on getting married. Pro tips for getting married now. You can give anybody anything except for the item that they hate, and they will like it and accept it. I gave Sammy acorns and he was fine with that because, you know, they're useless. So I was just giving it to him. You give him about four, you go up half a heart. Then you have the event, you go up the other half of the heart. Makes it extremely easy. Raising heart levels in this game is not the hard part. You can get anybody to like you really easily. The problem is getting married. So you'll have a dream from the harvest goddess who will get you the blue feather. You will be prompted for the blue feather. But you will not be prompted for how you upgrade your house or how you get a double bed or a bigger bed, because I believe that's what they call it. I'm gonna tell you something. It's not a double bed. It's a separate single bed. They sleep in separate beds, okay? You might be able to figure it out from there. But anyways, first you'll need to upgrade your house for 70,000 G. You'll need 10 cedar lumber. You can find those in this place. They'll look like the evergreen Christmas trees. And then from there, uh, Doc will, if you talk to Doc, you'll need to adaminite in order to expand its products. So you can find this out of the mine at 
just up by the volcano. You go to level 61, it'll be a, it'll be a save point, basically. You'll be able to easily go back. You just need to smash all the gold rocks. I recommend to save outside and then just go in. And each day, just go down to like the blank one floor, like 11, 21, 31. You get what I mean? Because they're all save points. So just spend that like going down 10 floors a day to get to the save point until you hit 61. You do not need to go further than 61 in this game. You can just stay there. Just save before you go in. Go smash all the gold rocks. If you didn't find the Adamanite, then go back. You will also need to speak to Roz at Pastilla's Mine in order to be able to um, expand on the products and you have to do that. Very, very, very easy. Same with upgrading your tools because um, in order to beat the game, you do have to upgrade to the silver hammer and axe. And you can do that by speaking to Dva at the first mine in between Hala Hala and Carlison. So yeah, just fill their requests. They're very, very, very easy. It's extremely easy to do their stuff. And then you'll have to just build it out of the workshop in your house. That's where you go to upgrade them and you'll need the requirements for that. Very, very easy though. Especially when you're clearing out the mines to get down to those levels, you'll get exactly what you need every time. Um, so yeah, you'll need to do that. Just clear that out to get what you need and then go to Jock, get them done, give them to him. Then you'll see that there's a bigger house for 350,000. You need to buy that. And it has four ebony and five adamanite. Do the same thing with the adamanite. Ebony is located by the Harvest Goddess Spring. And the, that little farm that's over there, not the one that opens up and unlocks after you beat the game, but the one um, nearby it. There's like this second, this other area that you can go. I accidentally went there thinking I was going to the goddess mine, but I wasn't. And there's a bunch of large rocks in the way that block the path. Smash one of those rocks, go behind there. There's three ebony trees. So that's where you can find the ebony. And then, yeah, same thing for Adamanite. You'll need about 17 Adamanite. If you also want to include the upgrade for the barn. If you don't want to get the upgrade for the barn, that's 250,000. Then you just need 12 Adamanite. So you're going to need five for the bigger house, two to give him. And then once you get the bigger house, he will give you another request where if you bring him five Adamanite, he will give you a better workshop inside your house. So you give him those five, and then there's an option for a bed that uh, just looks like the old regular bed. I don't know if he changed yours out. I did. I thought it was really weird that I could build this other thing. But I was like actively communicating with people on NeoSeeker about like how to do this. And um, they were like, no, you need that bed. It's not a double bed. It's a separate single bed. And so you just build that first bed. It takes one hardwood lumber by this point. You probably have lots of it. Doc will just give you some. So yeah, you just build that. Boom. Now that you already have the blue feather because you did the request for that, you got the person already at five hearts because this is the hardest part is upgrading your house. So you should have all that other stuff done like way before then. And um, yeah, then you can just go up to the person. It'll ask you whether you want to propose or not. When you hit propose, you'll go on this cute little date. You'll propose. And then you'll talk to their parents about getting married. And then you'll go to your mom and talk about getting married. And then you'll have this cute little wedding and you'll get ready in your mother's house. And you'll, you'll have your closest family and friends at the ceremony and it'll be adorable. And then a month after you get married, you'll be pregnant or your wife will be pregnant, depending what character you chose and who you married. Um, but someone will be pregnant. And then a month later, you'll get to choose the gender. And then a month after, you'll have the baby. And people will talk to you about it during this time. They'll congratulate you on your wedding. They'll, you, you can still have cutscenes with people, which is like really weird because you're married, you know. But like the, the heart events will still go on with the other people. And uh, yeah, you'll end up with this cute little baby that will look like your main character. So it won't look like your spouse, but at least it looks like you know, it came out of you two people because, like, there have been Harvest Moon games where your kid looks absolutely nothing like you because they decided to add in characters or whatever, and now the child just doesn't look like anybody. So, I hope that's helpful. If I come across anything, I might leave comments uh, down below in this video just as other, like, tips um, for your gameplay and just getting it done as soon as you can so that you can just go and have fun.
And yeah, the other tips that I gave about the money should also help with you coming up for that amount to get the house. And I think the most amount of money I've ever had was 400 and something thousand. And then I just went and bought a bunch of recipes <laughs> and just like cleared out my bank account. So I also bought the clothes that you can get. And so, yeah, I hope those tips are helpful for you. I'm going to... Uh, put my review of the game here as well as my corrected review as well. So if you're interested, you can go check those out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.